This is my story, Deacon Lester Daniel Sr. At the age of 16, I gave my life to the Lord. And as just being a typical teenager, I did both things that teachers do. But at the age of 19, Uncle Sam come knocking at my door. He wanted me. At the time, I wasn't sure what they wanted. After I got there, I realized what they wanted was just bodies from Vietnam. And me, I was drafted into the army. I went to Vietnam after going through basic training and advanced training. And my first entrance a bit into Vietnam was at Cameron Bay, which is where the home base for the first air camp was, which I was a part of. After a couple weeks of uh, training, we went on our first mission. Our first mission, we flew out by helicopter to a certain area, they dropped us off. We have to recon the area to make sure there's no enemy in sight. As we walked past a village, my first day in the field, walked past the village, shots rang out. People were shot, some killed, some not. We all was young men, here 19 years old, and going through something like this. We stayed down because they said this is a friendly village. You cannot return fire. We did not shoot back. We just laid there until the all clear was given. When the all clear was given, we went into the villages with the Arvins and they questioned some of the residents there, but they got no good results. As I went through Vietnam, there are things, some things that happened along the way. I thought for a while that I was invincible. On a couple occasions, there was close counters where I would almost be killed. You see, we was out uh, on patrol and we was hit by the enemy. Somehow, when doing this skirmish, I got shot. And uh, this is my results of them getting me. But that was, I went on to, they sent me out to the hospital ship again, once again to the hospital ship. And we, well, I made it, put it that way. <laughs> we, we praise God for that, I'm making it. Uh, after, that, they sent me to Tokelau, Japan. That's where I spent the rest of my time in, in the military for the first two years. After that, I got, I got out of the military in January of 1970, and that was basically a come back home. You find people to look at us as, even you me, as an enemy. Still a, for a long time, I would not let people know that I was in the Viet, in Vietnam War, because the way they, when they would treat me or look at me, or things they would say to you, you know, hey, you a baby killer, huh? Well, sometimes those babies will kill you. And back to where I was talking about how God took care of me is that when I came home, I joined, I was with the church. I never, I took me four years before I joined the church. I was doing everything in the church that they wanted. You know, I'd say I was dry, drove the buses for them. I picked up people, you know, who had to go to Bible study. You know, I was involved. Everything in the church done, I was involved with it. And when I finally joined the church, everybody thought I was a member already. And I praise God for that because uh, I also was in A. Brown Ministry, which is A. Brown Ministry nowadays. You know, days before it was Prison Crusade Ministry. When I first started out, I served with them as one of the choir that were members. And I even went on death row with the counseling team to counsel other the inmates about the love of Christ. And one Saturday, we went up to Zephyr Hills, and I'm sitting in the choir stand, and his voice comes to me and say, here you are, sitting here trying to tell others about me, when you don't believe in me yourself. In Vietnam, when you lay in the rice paddy, Village people shoot at you, someone from the village will shoot at you. Hey, I was there. The statue charge goes to your head. You stand up, no, don't get hit. I was there. When you got wounded, I was there too. You can try to tell others something that you don't believe yourself. And that, when I remembered, 
or that's when I came on the right side, know that hey, yes, he's right. The, the word, the word, the, the voice is right. I was in those situations, and I was brought through, and I praise God for that because if it hadn't been for Him, I could have been dead. Realizing what God had done for me, I can tell others that never, never count him short. Never forget about him. When things are not going the way you want to go, he's there with you. And at the right time, he will show up and let you know that he was there. I'm Deacon Lester H. Daniel Sr., and this is my story. <laughs>